Mastering Interactive Voice Response Systems IVR systems are secretly leaking sensitive data, and you're not even aware of it. Which steps are involved in the process of conducting IVR system penetration testing and vulnerability assessments to identify potential security risks and weaknesses? Conducting IVR system penetration testing and vulnerability assessments is a crucial step in identifying potential security risks and weaknesses. This process involves a series of steps that help identify vulnerabilities, exploit them, and provide recommendations for remediation. Here are the steps involved in conducting IVR system penetration testing and vulnerability assessments. 1. Scoping and planning. Define the scope of the penetration test, including the IVR system components to be tested, the testing methodology, and the expected outcomes. Identify the testing team, their roles, and responsibilities. 2. Information gathering. Gather information about the IVR system, including its architecture, infrastructure, and dependencies. This information can be obtained through documentation reviews, network scans, and interviews with system administrators and developers. 3. Vulnerability identification. Use automated tools and manual techniques to identify potential vulnerabilities in the IVR system, including network services, operating systems, and applications. This includes scanning for open ports, identifying potential entry points, and analyzing system logs. 4. Vulnerability exploitation. Attempt to exploit identified vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to the IVR system or its components. This can include attempts to bypass authentication, inject malicious code, or escalate privileges. 5. Post-exploitation analysis. Analyze the results of the exploitation phase to identify the level of access achieved, the data that can be accessed or modified, and the potential impact of a real-world attack. 6. Reporting and documentation. Compile the findings of the penetration test into a detailed report, including identified vulnerabilities, the methodology used to exploit them, and the impact of each vulnerability. The report should also include recommendations for remediation and mitigation. 7. Remediation and verification. Work with the IVR system development and operations teams to remediate identified vulnerabilities. Verify that the implemented remediation measures are effective in addressing the identified vulnerabilities. 8. Compliance and regulatory assessment. Assess the IVR system's compliance with relevant regulatory requirements, such as PCI DSS, HIPAA, or GDPR. Identify areas of non-compliance and develop a plan to address them. 9. Risk assessment and prioritization. Assess the identified vulnerabilities and prioritize them based on their severity, likelihood, and potential impact. This helps focus remediation efforts on the most critical vulnerabilities. 10. Continuous monitoring and improvement. Implement a continuous monitoring program to identify new vulnerabilities and track changes to the IVR system. This ensures that the IVR system remains secure over time and that new vulnerabilities are identified and addressed promptly. 11. Training and awareness. Provide training and awareness programs for IVR system administrators, developers, and users on the importance of security, secure coding practices, and incident response procedures. 12. Incident Response Planning. Develop an incident response plan to respond to security incidents, including procedures for containment, eradication, recovery, and post-incident activities. By following these steps, organizations can identify potential security risks and weaknesses in their IVR systems and take proactive measures to remediate and mitigate them, ensuring the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of their IVR systems.